billion, trillion, million, billion, trillions of orbiting snowballs, orbiting snowballs, orbiting. A flat fact. A flat fact. The realm. Do you know what the realm is? A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Antique 3D without special glasses. These are 3D stereoscopic images. There exists, if the official historical narrative is correct, millions of these types of images. They are viewed with a stereoscopic viewer like this or this. I cannot confirm as a flat fact there are millions of these 3D stereoscopic images. But if there is, just in the photographic genre of antique 3D alone, that is a lot of finely made glass. A couple of years ago when I was researching the video Giant Cameras and Giant Photographs and that apparently impossible photograph of Sydney that was found, I came across many of these side-by-side -side photographs. I segued into these 3D historical images for a time because you just don't get to this tech without evidence of getting there. And yes, there is a great deal of evidence. If we look a little further beyond, if we think upon the lateral, we might see more. For example, this piece of furniture is dated around the 1530s. And it is a beautiful piece and also hides an image of a man and a woman. You have to view from the top to see them. It is called the Zimmern Anamorphosis. Then we have the Hans Holbein painting called the Ambassadors with the strange shape in the foreground of the painting that revealed itself to be a three-dimensional skull when viewed from the side. This painting is also dated around the 1530s. In the 1530s, the artisans are thinking and creating in anamorphic. How much more of this outstanding skill set, this hidden anamorphosis, is still waiting to be discovered, waiting for us to notice? So back to the future, back to the 1800s to our side-by-side -side 3D. You may have seen these images turned into an animated GIF, an attempt to show the 21st century humans what historical 3D looks like. But if you've ever been able to see 3D, you can see that these are not 3D, and this is not how the images were intended to be seen. You might be lucky and have one of these antique stereoscopic viewers they are still around, and you could probably make one. I had thought, what if I turn them into anaglyphs, which are images transformed like this, which you need 3D glasses for. But this option, while it would be 3D, it is still not how the images were intended to be seen. I thought, what if I made them compatible with Google Cardboard? Lining the images up for Google Cardboard would give us a 3D image very close to how they were intended to be viewed. These options still require the purchase of equipment, inexpensive equipment, especially compared to an antique stereoscopic viewer. The antique stereoscopic slides are not of a standard format, so this makes it difficult to program an automated process of transforming the images for viewing in Google Cardboard. And as I said at the beginning, there are millions of them. But, 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 as synchronicity would have it, while I'm looking for something else this afternoon, I came across this. How to see 3D without glasses. So it's about five hours later and I'm putting this video together. 
Not only can I see these antique stereoscopic slides in 3D without glasses, I also watched a few Google Cardboard videos in 3D without the Google Cardboard device. This is the first antique stereoscopic image I saw in 3D without glasses. An 1800s 3D image of a triumphal arch. Seeing this in 3D is the reason I've stopped what I'm doing to make this video for you. I find it difficult to comprehend that the people at the time did not know this and perhaps they were meant to be viewed like I'm going to show you. So how do you see it? Well, firstly, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've found the people before were not as stupid or an impatient people. So not give her up a rest. You may get this in 10 seconds, it may take a couple of minutes, or you may need to spend some more time, more practice. This type of viewing is considered aerobics for the eyes and optometry uses stereoscopic 3D home vision therapy eye exercises to train smooth fusional divergence, central and peripheral fusion, oculomotor functions and anti-suppression. I will leave a link to a video and the description box of that video explains more. I won't use their example, I have an easier example. And then I have prepared some antique stereoscopic slides for you that I edited for beginner mode. I think this image is a lot easier. Thanks, Reddit. When you are successful, you will see a third image in the center. And this will be 3D. It will look a little like this, except popping out from your screen in 3D. I've been successful with this image on the laptop my 90 centimetre monitor, and my phone, although it was very small on the phone. Listen to the instructions first. You'll need to pause the screen. Look at the black dot and cross your eyes until it becomes one black dot. As soon as this happens, you'll be there. Try to see the third image in the middle. And then boom, 3D. You can slowly relax your eyes back to normal and still see the 3D. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I can flip very quickly now. It is easier with a black background, so here you go. Choose your adventure. You can either pause the video now and have a go, or watch until the end and get inspired as to whether you could make the effort. So as I said, this is the first stereoscopic slide I saw in 3D without glasses. I found it much, much easier to see the 3D if the background is black. So these next images I prepared for you a little earlier for the purposes of training. I've kept them all the same size and desaturated the sepia colours so that they are grayscale. You will again need to pause each of the images. So how did you go? Please comment and let others know how long it took you and if you figured out any tricks that were successful for you and share your tricks and keep trying if you don't get it. There is much hidden in the corner of our eyes. Knowing it is there and then training ourselves to see it will reveal much.